So previously when I was making this kind of series, it was doing pretty well, some liked it and some not, but oh boy, this week we have a lot of news, so, so let's start with it. So first of all, Android Nougat finally is the most used Android version on the Android world, but Android Nougat is not the latest version. Oreo is the latest version, which is Android 8.0, but Android Nougat combined together with 7.0 and 7.1 is the most used Android version so far, which many people still are left behind and well, Android Nougat is not the latest version as of today. It was always like that. Now with some not so positive news for Windows fans, like one year ago, two years ago maybe, uh, NYPD has gotten a few thousands of Windows phones for their police officers and well, as of today, NYPD has switched to iPhones and is gonna give all the Windows phones, is gonna give them all them back to AT&T or Verizon because they had a contract with AT&T or Verizon. Uh, so AT&T or Verizon was supplying Windows phones to NYPD and now they are gonna supply iPhones to NYPD. So yeah, it's kind of sad news for Windows phones, but well, they were left kind of without any support. So of course, NYPD will move forward. Now with some more positive news, someone did manage to install Windows Term for ARM devices on a Lumia 950. This is some great news because until now we had uh, some guys trying to install Windows 8.1 RT version, which RT version has like the full Windows on it, but it's like RT, which RT means you can't install apps outside the store, which I made a video previously talking about this Windows 8.1 being installed on Lumia's which I say that it was win full Windows, which it's still full Windows, it's just the RT version which doesn't allow apps to be installed outside the store. And now on Twitter, at uh, Blake underscore CW, he posted a screenshot of Windows Term ARM on Lumia 950. Well, this is some great news because more people are interested in Windows 10 than 8.1, but still even Windows 8.1 will be a great plus to be installed on Lumia phones. Now talking about Windows 8.1 RT on Lumia's, well, here's some news for it as well, because the guy who did install Windows 8.1 on Lumius, he come out and said that for people asking seller, no, Windows and Windows phones shares a different RIL stack even in post one core era. Unless you develop a set of tools that deal with AT commands, you will not get seller connectivity on Windows RT on Lumius. So this means that you will not be able to use your phone if you install Windows 8.1 on your Lumia. You'll use your phone as a tablet because you'll not be able to receive SMS and receive calls on it because, well, there is no mobile connectivity on Windows 8.1 RT. But this doesn't apply to Windows 10 for ARM devices because Windows 10 for ARM devices has the connectivity and Microsoft has updated the SMS app, which is still old and it's available on Windows 10 for desktops. And they keep updating it even though it's not working. It doesn't work with Skype if you synchronize try to synchronize it, doesn't work with Skype, you can't receive SMS on it, so even though it's not working, they keep updating it. Why? Because, well, maybe the next Windows, whatever the name will be, it will have connectivity. So there is the hint, Windows 10 will be able to receive calls and messages because, well, Microsoft keeps updating this app for a reason. They wouldn't update this app if the app is not usable and what's the point in updating the app if it's not usable? So there is the hint, but yeah, don't ask for when it will be available to install this Windows 10 for ARM devices or Windows 8. 8.1 RT on Lumius because it's not available yet and even if it will be available it still will be buggy so don't ask for when it will be available because well as you see these guys uh, they keep trying to install it and make it work but yeah great news so far thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one